Welcome back to the video, friends. I failed. So much for the dailies, birdie. Well, it's more so I've been trying to revive my kind of dead art channel here on YouTube. And these past few days, I've been dedicating a lot of my time and effort in my art. So sorry I wasn't able to keep my word. But if you guys are curious to see what I was up to, I literally painted the Mona Lisa. And the entire process video for this painting is actually up on that art channel. So you guys can go check it out if you want to. Honest truth is, I'm only human even though that really can't be used as an excuse anymore because there's a ton of amazing humans on this planet. But what I mean is I'm prone to burning out like every other person. And I've tested this out. The maximum I can go before really needing deep sleep is 18 hours. And of course, throughout the day, I take mini naps and rests uh, because I listen to my body now. But take it from me, guys. All-nighters suck, especially the day after, the days after. For some people, all-nighters are actually insanely productive, but you feel it the day after. It really affects your health and well-being, and it's, it's hard for you to process things mentally. So here we are, not really doing the dailies like I promised I would at the beginning of the month, but just going with the flow. So whatever happens, happens, and hopefully you guys understand. Oh, and also, we changed the channel name back to Kings Masteraz, if you haven't already noticed. Let's get it. <laughs> You know we had to hit you guys with that classic intro. So there's a few packages I gotta pack up this morning before the post office lady comes and grabs them. And also catching up on a lot of the Project Rocket orders. And that's what I had this tower of boxes behind me for. I'm just gonna put all of these in them and bring them upstairs. If it was one of you guys, you took the time out of your day to order something from either one of the stores, Project Rocket or Kings Must Rise, Appreciate you. Your order is probably in here somewhere and the wait is almost over, so appreciate the patience. Thank you guys. Remember, still just a small team of me and my roommate who's eating breakfast upstairs. Shane, appreciate you, homie. Your efforts don't go unhonored. Now we wait for the mailman or male woman. You never know. It might not be such a bad idea. Can you scream? Hey. Oh, yeah, I'll be here. Oh. We'll go for a walk if he wants to come along. Sure. <laughs> okay. yeah. we'll be I can tell by a different tone. He only ever like oh. does oh. that kind of pitch with you guys. <laughs> okay. Like a real kid. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. You're going for a walk, homie. <laughs> Super cool because our neighbors really love taking go on for a walk. Plus, they get their exercise too, so it's a win win. Win 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 because he is actually like the best distraction. <sighs> it's ironic. Watch him come bulleting through. Here you go. Jeez Louise, go on. Oh my gosh, so excited. There they go. You play mode, bro. Come on, man. Hey. It's getting cold, but I mean, still luckily for us, middle of November and there's still no snow on the ground. This is actually amazing. Doesn't mean we can't prepare. So I've decided since I'm having trouble letting go of our Celica, we're gonna be keeping it for our beater for the next few months, but it's time to throw on the winter tires. So we'll see you guys at the old garage. You ready? There you go, homie. In all honesty, I like driving the Celica. It's actually pretty comfortable. And also the 2ZZ is so much more uh, reliable than the 1ZZ. It's not as oil hungry. That's also a big reason as to why some Lotuses, like the Elise, actually use it for their engine. And I think all it really needs is a good set of winter tires and it will be able to get me through all of winter. Keep your eyes locked on me when I escape your binding way. Guys. Why was I thinking of getting rid of this again? Like, if I were ever to own a Celica, which, I mean, technically this is ours, this is exactly how I'd build it. Man, oh, okay, you know what? The longer I work on things, speaking from an artist's perspective, the more sentimental value I build with it, and then it just becomes that much harder for me to let go of it. But that was one of the lessons that one of my art professors tried to teach me. Be willing to let go. Sometimes it's hard, okay? Go on, you're free. Yeah, I trust, okay? Yeah. Mahomes. 
Joni, who's that? Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> awesome. Well, the goal for any dog owner is to get their dog to be super tired by the time they get home, so he's in good company. Bye bye. <laughs> what the hell? Go on, just punch them. So I was actually planning on. What the? So I was actually planning on. Come on closer, guys. What the? Freak out. So I was test fitting a subwoofer in the back of the Celica, but I'm planning on taking this out. If I want this car to be at least semi-practical, there's no room for this subwoofer, so. Maybe down the line. Decided to show his face. Been a minute. Yeah, it's been a minute, man. Nice ride, bro. Thanks, it's my mommy's car. I'm in my mom's car. Look at the sticker on the body. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, to hide the dent. Yo, dope. <laughs> Whatever works, bro. I don't know why, but this yeah. suits us so well. Yeah. Uh, dude, I think so too. But I want this car to be practical. <laughs> well, what's better than sound? Tell me. Surround? Oh! Alright, put aside the wheels here and make it easier for myself. These are still fresh winter tires, so they'll get us through the next months for sure. Back to the stockies, man. But I actually just found out that the Celica and the FRS have the same bolt pattern, so that means I can actually use the wheels that are on my FRS on my Celica. To figure out what to do with this thing. Really, I'm just waiting on a few parts, <laughs> and uh, before we can really like spend a good time on it, because like I don't want to keep going back and forth and figuring out that I, I'm missing something. So, um, I'm really planning out the future of this RX-7. Also guys, don't worry, I promised myself that I would choose the RX-8 winner. So, even if it takes me like several hours to go through the list of all the legitimate entries. Unfortunately, because of international complications and probably expenses, this contest was actually only open to Canada and America. So I promise, we're gonna choose a winner, but you guys have to hang on. Like, look at that. Still room to spare. I love hatchback. This is almost the same exact space or room that the FRS has, but the FRS has just a regular trunk, whereas hatchback. It's also kind of why I was drawn to the Presidia too. Almost the same body shape. Throw those on the Celica. I got the Winters for the Scion XB right there. They're just as nice. They're their own style and they're made by Koenig, but VIP. You're spoiled for choice for winter beaters, man. Right? I already told these guys earlier in the video that it's probably gonna be this guy that I'm driving most this winter just because we're still working on this. Yeah, I mean, I guess it depends, but the more weight I add onto this thing too, the more it's making me want to opt for coilovers. <laughs> See that? I think the back just sank. <laughs> We're having troubles with the one when you're taking it to shows too. This is meant to be rolled. We have another little project. Yeah! No! Oh! 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 I guess while we're here, work on the XB a little bit. No! Her cabinet system fell. So I quickly stopped by the dollar store and I grabbed some more foam core, but... While we're here, I guess we'll just quickly mock up the walls for our cabinets uh, to make it look whole. And then from there, I still have to go to Rona to buy all the wood and also the flooring because there's there's this one huge, like, it's a fake flooring wall that uh, I've decided I'm just going to use that instead of actually using flooring because it'll just make this thing that much heavier. You'll see what it looks like when we grab it. Since we plan to make the Celica a little more practical, I'm also going to get rid of these ricey things. <laughs> I mean, that's almost on the verge of falling off already. And also, we gotta fix this situation. It doesn't really have anything to like latch onto for the bumper. That's why. Figure it out. Back to the stock wheels. Actually, it doesn't look that bad, you know? For some reason, like some 90s JDM cars look 
good with smaller wheels. Yeah, Small that's wheels it. Or moves, man. Only because you have no choice. No, <laughs> just kidding. Yo, appreciate it. Yeah, kind of a choice. <laughs> yeah, you really, do. <laughs> yeah, if I really cut it up and stuff and fucking 19 inch wheels, they won't work. But <laughs> right, guys. Help me get this kid to 1,000 subscribers. Yeah, please. Follow man. the link in the description right now. And I'm gonna wait. Like literally, go down there right now. I'm, I'm pausing this vlog, okay? Until you go subscribe to his channel. Open up another browser, okay? Still waiting. You guys haven't done it yet. You do it and I'll kiss you on the mouth, man. <laughs> I'll kiss all the boys on the mouth and I'll give a girl a handshake. <laughs> Great. So this is what we ended up picking up. This is what we're going to be using for our flooring. Slowly working on the cabinet system. I'm just trying to get the walls as snug as possible so we're not wasting space. I want to be insanely efficient with the little room that we're given. how you get an insanely close cut. Check this. Ooh, just a tiny bit of trimming up here mostly. That's pretty damn close. Just a couple more shelves that I have to mock up. Um, right here, we're gonna have a little slide out drawer. Uh, this is just a prototype, okay? But this is gonna be a cabinet system where these are two separate doors. So I'm gonna cut that in half. So there's gonna be cabinet there, cabinet there, underneath the sink and table. That's actually where we're gonna put the mini fridge and our water. Right here, mini drawer, and then a shelf right here. And then a tiny little shelf up here, which I can put like magazines and thinner things. There will be a closed cabinet up here as well. So yeah, getting somewhere. Now you guys know how I create my prototypes. Foam core is your best friend for these kinds of projects. Guys, this is making me so excited. Check. Now that I have the shapes for the doors of the cabinets, all I really have to do is trace this out on the wood and hopefully it fits as it is right now. And then I still have to figure out all the hinge spots and stuff, but uh, I'll probably do that with the cabinet outside of the car. So I bought a bunch of these. They're pretty cheap, only like two, three dollars each. I'm trying to make it insanely clean. Actually, for the drawer, we're gonna be using this diamond knob just to add to the VIP-ness of this car. VIP-ness. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. That's it for today because I've been here for too long and my son is waiting for me. I haven't fed him yet. Plus, I probably need to take him for a walk. Wait, I left him at my parents' house. I think we're okay. But we still have to choose the winner for the RX-8 and I know that's gonna take us a bit. So we'll see you guys back at the home studio base. So as soon as I got home, I just got started. I opened up the sales page on the KMR website, divided down the selection to only the purchases made between the cutoff dates, and went through several months worth of sales, taking into account how many entries each of the Canadian and American only resident buyers had. I did this twice. Now all that's left to do is to throw this huge list into our random name selector. And that's when we'll have ourselves a new RX-8 owner. Except we're gonna do that draw live, that's why I didn't include it in this vlog. Stay tuned for the winner. This was grueling as F though, having to do it manually. I've literally been sitting in this position for like two and a half hours making sure i didn't miss any names making sure there were the right amount of proper entries and right locations but in the future if we ever do this again there's got to be an easier method or at least have my friends help me or something um but yeah that's it uh it's getting late i still have to edit this vlog so i appreciate you all for being here as always thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video peace